Really powerful system that came ashore. Also, a quick moving system is going to allow cleanup in Florida to begin very quickly. This is not, you know, today's not going to be a bad weather day. It'll be a recovery day in Florida. This system is screaming to the north. It'll race by Atlanta this morning. For us, we get one little specific threat, and it's a tornado concern. And so that's why we labeled this as a first alert weather day. A few tornadoes are possible, along with some tropical downpours. But the, this is not an all day thing. This is not we're not getting all day rain here. We in between about noon and four. That's the peak storm window. That's when we have our best chance to get some downpours that could produce tornado warnings. Now we have a marginal threat. There's Richmond. A marginal threat is a level one threat. So that's on the low end, a little bit higher chance down in southern Virginia. I think it's likely that North Carolina will get a tornado watch. We might get a tornado watch up here in central Virginia again for the midday and early afternoon. Today's high 78. We've got some spotty light rain now, but look how low the rain chances now 20% 10% at 10 in the morning you're driving off or you're commuting into work this morning kids getting on school bus should be fine but then into the afternoon at three o'clock the rain chance jumps up that's not just rain but that's when we have the potential to get these rotating cells within tropical downpours that could produce tornado warning so something we're going to watch really closely through the afternoon the winds will pick up this afternoon as well but unless you get a severe downpour somewhere it's just going to be breezy and not a damaging wind hourly forecast 11 in the morning dry along interstate 95 but we start to get this band that moves through here's one in the afternoon and anywhere in there uh, and we're going to really be close Closely watching the radar picture, you could have a rotating cell, but look at four o'clock. This list to the north, and although there might be a shower here or there right around five, the evening commute doesn't look too bad. Friday night football games, I think, are going to go on as scheduled unless they start really early. And if you have plans to go to the Folk Festival or go to the State Fair, it's looking pretty decent the later you go. Then skies are going to actually clear overnight. Tomorrow's going to be a gorgeous day. The rain chance is tiny tomorrow. Go into the mid 80s. We'll get a lot of sunshine. It is going to be hot. And humid tomorrow, so be ready for that. Not feeling like fall tomorrow. That'll be the warmest day we get over the next 10. 83 on Sunday, staying humid. Humid on Monday and Tuesday as well, with showers likely both days. And Sunday, it's very late in the day. I think we're going to get some downpours. Then we get lower humidity Wednesday through the upcoming weekend, or next weekend, I should say, with temperatures in the 70s. It'll feel a little bit more like October, starting in the middle of next week. Candace, over to you. All right, thanks, Andrew.